welcome back to Lakshya e-learning platform. So we'll start with embryology, the very first topic which is gametogenesis and fertilization. So before starting, e topic le important question se dekya nam kono ka. Gametogenesis as such short as edi jo ikya, alengi spermatogenesis ho, o genesis ho separated edi jo ikya. ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഷനും ഒരു പോസിബിൾ ഷോർട്ടേജ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആണ് അതല്ലാതെ ഇതിൽ നിന്ന് വൺ മാർക്ക് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസും ചോദിക്കാം സോ ലെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ഗ്യാമറ്റോജെനസിസ് വിൽ ബി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിംഗ് വിത്ത് സ്പെർമാറ്റോജെനസിസ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് സ്പെർമാറ്റോജെനസിസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ പ്രോസസ് ഓഫ് ഡെവലപ്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് മെച്ചുവർ സ്പെർമാറ്റോ സോവ ഫ്രം സ്പെർമാറ്റോ ഗോണിയ ദ സൈറ്റ് ഇസ് സെമിനിഫറസ് ട്യൂബ്യൂൾസ് It begins after puberty. The duration is 64 to 74 days. The primordial germ cells gives rise to the spermatogonium. Now spermatogonium A act as the reserve cells and the spermatogonium B divides further and forms the spermatozoa. The spermatogonium undergoes repeated mitotic divisions. approximately 5 to 7 cycles and it gives rise to primary spermatocyte which is diploid this undergoes meiosis 1 which is a reductional division and secondary spermatocytes are formed which are haploid this undergoes meiosis 2 which is equational division and haploid spermatids are formed these are circular in shape This is converted into typical spermatozoa and this process is known as spermiogenesis. The spermatozoa are attached to the Sertoli cells and these are released into the lumen of seminiferous tubules and this process is called spermiation. After that it is transferred into the epididymis. Epididymis is the site for storage, for maturation and where the sperms attain the motility. The maturation is not the final maturation. The final maturation takes place in the female genital tract and that is called capacitation. Now we'll have a look at the structure of the mature spermatozoon. The mature spermatozoon has a head, a neck, a middle piece and a principal piece or a tail. The head has nucleus and acrosome which is modified Golgi apparatus. It contains certain enzymes which help in the penetration of the ovum. The neck has the proximal centriole. The middle piece has the spiral mitochondria. and the principal piece consists of the axial filaments the axial filaments arise from the distal centriole now let's move on to oogenesis so oogenesis is the process of development of an ovum from the oogonium site is the ovarian cortex it begins before birth and it's arrested for a long time and it restarts after puberty so here the primordial germ cells gives rise to the oogonium the oogonium by mitotic division repeated mitotic division it forms the primary oocyte which is diploid this primary oocyte undergoes meiosis 1 but it is not complete it gets arrested in the prophase of the meiosis 1 in the diploteen state that means at the time of birth the female gamete is the primary oocyte which is arrested at prophase 1 during childhood the ovaries are inactive so there is no change till puberty when puberty is attained there is an lh surge prior to ovulation because of the lh surge meiosis 1 completes once the meiosis 1 is completed it gives rise to the haploid secondary oocyte along with the first polar body so both of them have the same number of chromosome but the polar body has minimal cytoplasm the secondary oocyte undergoes meiosis 2 but it is again arrested in the metaphase of meiosis 
this is completed only fertilization takes place otherwise it won't be completed and uh, fertilization results in the release of the second polar body now let's have a look at the structure of the ovum at the time of ovulation which is a secondary oocyte the ovum has a covering called the vitelline membrane outside the vitelline membrane is the zona pellucida outside the zona pellucida there are the cells of corona radiata so these three are the membranes which the sperm has to penetrate during fertilization now between the vitelline membrane and the zona pellucida there is a perivitelline space and it is here where the first polar body lies now we'll move on to the second topic which is fertilization so fertilization is the process of fusion of two highly specialized haploid germ cells resulting in the formation of a zygote the site of fertilization is the ampulla or the lateral one third of the uterine tube the stages the various events of fertilization can be discussed under three stages the first is the approximation of the gamete second is the contact and the fusion of the gamete and third is the result of the fertilization the approximation of the gametes include the spermatozoan transport as well as the ovum transport the spermatozoan transport the seminal fluid contains the spermatozoan and during the passage through the male genital tract the spermatozoan attains maturity and motility out of the 200 to 500 million sperms which are deposited in the female genital tract only 300 to 500 reach the site of maturation now life span of the sperm after ejaculation it is 24 to 48 hours now how does the spermatozoa reach the site of fertilization it's by chemotaxis or by the chemicals which are released by the follicular cells of the ova Now, inside the female genital tract, the sperm undergoes final maturation, which is called capacitation. It takes approximately seven hours. It starts either in the cervix or in the uterus, and it continues up to the fallopian tubes. So, what happens during capacitation? There is changes in the surface glycoproteins. That is the removal of the glycoproteins of the sperm. which expose the zona binding proteins now we'll talk about the ovum transport the fimbria of the uterine tube moves over the ovary at the time of ovulation and it sweeps in the ovulatory mass into the infundibulum so from the infundibulum the ovum reaches the ampulla by the action of the cilia and by the muscular contractions the viability of the ovum after ovulation is 24 to 48 hours now we'll talk about the second stage which is contact and fusion of the gametes so here some important terms are there one is the acrosomal reaction the spermatozoan encounters the ovum and when it does so it releases enzymes which help the spermatozoan to penetrate the barriers and fertilize the ovum the enzymes are hyaluronidase enzyme acrosin as well as the acid phosphatase the hyaluronidase enzyme digests the cell of corona radiata and there is disintegration of the barrier now after the sperm penetrates the zona pellucida there is some alteration in the plasma membrane and the zona pellucida so that other sperms cannot enter this prevents polyspermy and this process is known as zona reaction so the contact of the sperm with the vitelline membrane causes a calcium wave in the oocyte cytoplasm and after that there is the nuclear fusion So after that we'll discuss what are the results of fertilization. So fertilization results in the completion of the second meiotic division of the secondary oocyte 
so there is a restoration in the diploid number of chromosome and there is also determination of chromosomal sex of the future individual to be born after fertilization there is initiation of cleavage so this is all about gametogenesis and fertilization hope you understood thank you